what I love about this place and what I love is that the creative energy, despite everything that's happening, that would say that it should not exist in this place. Yeah. It's, it won't fucking die, man. It was a Blackberry. It was a Aha. Blackberry, Blackberry storm. Exactly. <laughs> One of the first s smartphones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. as a camera, that's, that's a potato camera. Even, even at the time, right? Oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like cool that you'd had a camera mm. on your phone, but quality yeah, wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm wasn't. assuming it wasn't doing much. Hey, you know, I still have the folder. Of, Ooh, of, 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 of Yeah, I still have the folder of those photos because I, it was, it wasn't doing much, but I think that's kind of where I learned to like work with what you have. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was taking a lot of, I didn't do much in terms, in the way of selfies, but it was more like just trying to capture moments with my friends. Um, something that I thought was particularly picturesque, something like, a, I don't know, like a piece of glitter in the street. Yeah. Um, a receipt with like a butterfly punch cut out in it like it's uh it, i think at one point i was like walking down the stairs at school and yeah. then i saw there was like a little origami crane on the window um and you could see the street like you could see like the the streets outside and i took a picture of that but like yeah yeah it was just that was like my first it it got me in the in the in the headset of looking for moments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's actually one of the things we were going to talk about as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, but before we actually get to that is, so was having the, the phone, the tool, the mm -hmm. thing that sparked your interest in photography, or you were already a guy who just loved like capturing moments. What, what was really like the origin story? Uh, I've never really given it too much thought because i yeah. think there's like evidence like back in the day like when like you know my parents got a video camera and i was like obsessed with it or um like yeah i i wouldn't say that i i liked it more than any other kid liked it yeah um but i just remember at and this is why it's so important to like take the context of technology right yeah so around that time it was like the phones i'd had before i had a razor and then there was like a smarter version of the razor, which was called the Crazer. Like, and then after that, I had the LG Chocolate. And Ooh, then, that was popular. and then, yeah. And then after that, I moved on to, because at the time, BlackBerry was re really popular. Yep. Yep. And yep. I'm sometimes I'm just a contrarian, and I didn't want to have the the, <laughs> the key, popular, yeah, thing. the popular one. <laughs> and then I saw, and I also like new tech, and so. This was like the first, like, it was a touch screen, which was wild at the time. Yeah. Um, uh, the only other people who had touch screens were, what was the, I, was the first iPhone. Yeah. So it had a touch screen um, and then it had a camera as well. And that was like a big, big um, selling point. And I was like, yeah, so maybe if I do that, I'll, I'll take pictures of the camera. And so it was more expensive than most phones. Yep. So I had to justify <laughs> <laughs> spending like, that much money. Damn, I need to get yeah, my money back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like I started taking photos and I really, really liked it. And then it was, for me, it, even then it wasn't, I didn't think I was going to be a photographer. Yeah. And then my mentor, uh, my very first mentor was like, he saw me with that and he was like, you should bite the bullet and, and buy a camera. And go yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. That's yeah. interesting. So from that phase, um, <clears throat> the last thing we'll maybe touch on intentionally, of course, mm -hmm. um, is so you're taking the photos. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming there are things that you're learning, but subconsciously. Mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. like you're saying, you're not looking to become a photographer. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you're probably not thinking... Um, I'm becoming great at um, composition. Mm. That's the yeah. thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm becoming great at uh, composition of, 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 of pictures. Yeah. What are there any things that you, you can consciously like think of that you mm. learned in, in, in those times where you're like, oh, damn, those were like really great lessons? I think the main thing was, the main things were like, yeah, I think it was composition because I was trying to create. Um, I, I always want to make something that I like to look at. Like, um, yeah. so like even like <laughs> I'm guilty of like, 
um, you know, uh, looking at some of my old photos, looking at some of my old pics and like stuff like that, because I genuinely like looking at them. And so that involved learning what looked good to my eye. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I think was just like learning how to deal with light. Um, yeah. because yeah, it's, like Ooh, you said, yeah, it's a potato kick, phone. That can really kick your ass. So <laughs> unless you're, unless you, unless you really understood, like now it's like commonplace, right? Like everyone knows face the sun. Um, don't, don't do this. You'll blow out the background. If you yep. do that, like uh, get people to face the window instead of stand in front of the window. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That was <laughs> everyone yeah. looks like so yeah. dark. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So like that was those, I guess those were the, those were the main things that yeah, I would say I learned, but yeah, I wouldn't really say that the learning process started there. Yeah. Um, yeah. That there it was still, it was still just very much fun and yeah, just fun. Just taking for yeah. 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 Fair enough, man. Yeah. Um, so that's around maybe let's say 08, 09. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You started working as a uh, mm. photographer professionally mm. around 2011, 2010. Yeah. Uh, fair? Yeah, professionally. <laughs> in that, <laughs> yeah, that, that that's the that. first time I got paid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. Do you remember yeah. what it was for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember the, this dude called Fred. Um, yeah. He was a he was a Niger dude, and yeah. he was like he was like a real GQ bread. Like he was like a In real. What way? He was <laughs> like he used to like you know he liked dressing nice. He oh, liked um, okay, okay. You okay. know he he liked like kind of like back then I think it was like this weird combination of like it was you mix street fashion with like a very prep and 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 suave look so yeah. like you'd wear like creative recreation sneakers yeah. and a suit and like a, ah, like an overcoat yeah, yeah. like like that type of thing right um and he was like yo i'm starting this blog it's going to be called above av um me and the homie we're going to like dress up in suits and sneakers um can you come take some photos of us yeah. how much would that cost me i was like yeah i'll charge you like a little 60 bucks or something like that um and then yeah that's those were the the very first photos that i that you yeah. got like paid to take yeah, 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 yeah. and so that's interesting because <clears throat> were you in zim at this moment or no no, no. i was in the states i was you were in, in the states yeah i was at uni yeah so that's what i was gonna ask because uh. zim is a bit of a like I would, I would assume, uh -huh. and this is an assumption on my part, that the yeah. starting level is a bit lower, uh, in terms mm. of like like either mm. like money and just opportunities mm. as well. Is yeah, it like a fair thing to say. Hey, this opens up so much else though, <laughs> because I would say yes. Let's try it. Let's try yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I would say yes because like right now, so that was like I said, that was 2011, right? Yeah. And I was charging someone sixty dollars in the states. And that was me charging a very, in my head, it was a very low amount yeah. because I didn't get, deserve to get paid like um, the crazy, crazy amounts. And so it wasn't even $60 an hour. It was yeah. like $60 for the shoot. For the entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I know people now here in Zim who would probably do something very similar, even though their equipment is probably much more expensive than yeah. mine yeah. and whatnot and it's this is like something i've spoken to a, like almost any photographer who listened to me like i i speak to them about this about like yeah. you can't you can't charge you can't charge for survival rates um like you you maybe maybe you got this camera at a discount or whatever or yeah. it's, it's whatever but photography in zim is actually more expensive than almost yeah. anywhere else because you import the camera you and import the markups like, are always going to be yeah, crazy yeah you everything isn't it like lights as well yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's stupid expensive and unfortunately the other thing that people don't think about about the zim market is that um so for example um these like the the lights you're using the yeah. camera you're using like this is this is stuff you own yeah whereby in another market i can rent so like if I want to experiment with something, 
I got to go full in. I can't just yeah. be like, oh, I heard about this lens. I'm going to rent it out and try it out. No, I have to pay the yeah. full, yep. what, like upwards of $500. <laughs> and then now I'm bringing it to Zim. Like, who knows how much that's going to be? Like, yeah. it's. And it might not even be like, like you're saying, it might not even fit the context of your work. As well. Yeah, exactly. So, like, anyone who who's. I don't think I know many people who shoot regularly yeah. and they don't own at least at least 70 percent of their of, of 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 the stuff that they bring to each shoot and for context that's probably over like 1.5k yeah, yeah. 2K, easily, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like, easily easily yeah. easily and then you include the computer and editing software <laughs> and whatnot and i mean I mean, everyone's up like pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, everyone buys their editing software from Pirate Bay, but like, <laughs> in Zim, like, okay, I'm, 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 let, let me, let me chill, let me chill. No, I think, yeah. I think it's a fair thing to say. I don't yeah. really think. But it like, is. I say that to say that, like, listen, people, if you're being paid sixty dollars an hour, you aren't even able, you can't even afford to to get the right software to edit the yeah. things at, legally, yeah. at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. But. The demand is still there. It's really a seller's market um, here in Zim. And I don't, I don't have a solution for that besides like photographers talking to each other and, 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 and getting together and saying like, yo, this is what we're worth. Um, oh, like almost establishing a price, like, like, yeah. like an industry standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. and I mean, it's, 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 it's being tried. There's a lot of people who've done it. Um, yeah. uh, I think that the... Uh, I feel so bad because I, I don't remember the exact name of yeah. the um, <laughs> of the group, but it's a it's an association of, of um, women photographers in Zim, yeah. and those are actually the that they're Is the it most unpublished. Uh, no, so unpublished. So when I she's part, she was part of it. Like I think uh, Davina oh, okay. Jogi is actually one of her okay. one of her mentors. Um, Davina Jogi was part of it, and they did really well in in advocating for each other, teaching each other, and whatnot. Um, uh, that's probably the best um, if example seen, case I've, yeah. I've, I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, yeah that's cool, man. Yeah. That, that's interesting. I, I didn't think yeah. of it like that because the context yeah. I had is, um, I'm going to say I remember in 2014, but yeah. truth be told, I saw yeah. on your Instagram. Yeah. In 2014, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were doing um, something called Dollar Portrait? Oh yeah, well, you, the, it'd be like five bucks, uh, yeah, 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 photos, yeah, yeah, something yeah, of, yeah, of yeah, that yeah, sort. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so yeah. that's the context I was coming in with, where, where yeah. you're like, yeah, that was that was marketing though. That was hundred uh, percent marketing because yeah. like it, it was not anything execute like from an execution standpoint, it wasn't yeah. anything that was particularly difficult. Um, yeah. It was just something that I could. I could um, get people excited about like, oh, f photos for, for how much, how much could I make it so that I could pay for the, for the space? Oh, like rent out a room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. rent out, the, pay for the space and have some fun, take some photos. And yeah. then those people will post and then they'll tag me and then it's Someone like... Someone... Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that one was... Or that they was, become like a repeat customer. Exactly, exactly. Some people then add yeah. like there, they literally ask like, oh, what what do you do? Like, can I... Do you do weddings? Do you do this? Do you do yeah, that? Yeah, like, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, It's good context because I was mm -hmm. thinking, yo, this was struggle bread. But now <laughs> you put it like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That, that, one, that one was... That one was... Um, marketing. Yeah, okay. marketing. And also... It, Low key back then it was fun. It yeah. was it was it was really really fun. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like that because the way the way I saw the post was like, yo, yeah. we're doing this tomorrow. It's like almost yeah, like yeah. a pop up style yeah, thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, Let's was, see who yeah. shows up. And yeah, 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 yeah. It also seems like a really cool way to like meet people and shit. So yeah, yeah. no, it was it was it was awesome. We we were just we were doing. <sighs> I hesitate to say like you know all those like for the culture things but like yeah. it really was um there was a space type of space that we wanted and that was our like little contribution to creating, to creating a, a bit of that yeah. space yeah yeah fair enough yeah. i hear that i think it's yeah. a valid thing to say yeah. <laughs> i think it's a valid thing hopefully, to, hopefully. to say and so um you're self-taught um mm. You didn't go to like a tertiary education for like uh, mm. photography or photojournalism, no. which is usually like no. the path. 
No, 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 no. Some people take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, from the time you start being becoming like a professional, um, yeah. What's your go-to way of like learning? Like, how do you learn and get new skills and what? Uh, it's Google University, bro. For real? <laughs> no, a hundred percent. I think so. So I had my mentor, right? Yeah. Who would first start like teaching me like like just the basics, right? Like, and then he was like, he gave me a rundown of like. This is your shutter speed. This is your aperture. This is um, your your ISO. Yeah. This is what these things mean. Like, get at it. And so, like, it was for a long time. I remember I would shoot on the, like, the program function or the auto function. Auto. And he would like <laughs> literally be like, "You can't be on that. You can't be on that. You can't be on that." And he just got me off and and got me to to just shoot manually. Yeah. And then, because I was always carrying my camera around, I was always around friends. I then just learned just by sheer sheer repetition. Yeah. Like the it whole thing always. is like it's yeah, it's like it's it's really what it is. Like it's not it's not like that's how anyone gets good at something. Like you just have to keep also doing quite it. True. Yeah, you just have to <laughs> you keep have to doing take the it. terrible photos. Yeah, yeah. You have to shoot on Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Um but yeah, I just kept shooting. Um I think from there like i remember like every once in a while he like he would give me like a book on composition um but i could only take it so far because he was um he was a uh, he was from gabon the yeah. book he gave me was like in french so like Ooh. i could like follow a little bit like yeah. my french is okay uh but like it's not it's not great <laughs> yeah and so like i would look through and i'd be like okay I okay think okay means... yeah, 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 yeah that type of thing and uh, but after a while it was just like okay fine like i from what i got from that was just the idea of like leading lines um you know rule of thirds um like just and, and just interesting ways to position i just would like always like experiment with like positioning my subject in the frame like up till now yeah i very rarely put my subject in the middle of the frame um to me it just it it, it looks it doesn't it doesn't um it doesn't look cinematic enough yeah. <laughs> um so like i think that yeah there's yeah, I, I always position to the side. So, like, after I learned composition, sorry, I was getting sidetracked. Yeah. After I learned composition, then it was, um, yeah, just every kind of uh, photography forum, um, every type of group. Now there's stuff like, um, what do you call that thing? There's, like, 500 pics. There's, oh. um, Flickr. Flickr's always been there, but Flickr's a little bit different. Um, and then there was, um, at the time, there was something called, um, uh, 75, it was 75 yeah, dot, yeah. 75 dot Koza, and that was lit and it was just, um, you had to be invited. Um, and it was mostly, it was mostly African, uh, photographers. Yeah. And there's some dudes who really big dudes who got, who started from there, like Jeffrey Quetzal. I knew Jeffrey Quetzal from there. From there. Um, Lebo Lukewarm. I knew him from there as well. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, those guys were, were on there. And so you would kind of, like, take pictures, see what other people are doing. Um, oh, yeah, that's another thing. You have to consume. You have to consume so much. Or, like, other photographers. You have to, yeah, other constantly. photographers and, like, yeah. And the kiss of death is to only look at photographers that you really like. Like, yeah. you have to, like, see... Look at something that confuses you, and you're like, "Oh, I don't get that. I don't know what that what is." What does this mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then like learn about the photographer. The photographer, like, we love talking. Like, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. they they'll they'll talk about that stuff. So you consume all that stuff. You go onto forums. There's so much information for people who are who are learning. As long as you just you just get yourself the basics of the language, and um, after a while. You'll even just going on those forums. You'll just Everything learn like stuff. Like makes sense. Yeah, it's 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 honestly, it's inexcusable if you say that like I can't learn off of what's online. There's yeah. just yeah, there's nowadays so it's a much. Bit, yeah. There's so much, yeah. man. Yeah, and and yeah. free resources as well, isn't it? Like yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah. paying for for most of the stuff. Like it was all 
what I could glean from other people, what I, I learned from shooting by myself and like, yeah, just talking to other photographers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I hear that. That's yeah. That's, and, and, and to this day, that's still like your, your mode of learning, just like yeah. other people's work, your own work, interrogating it again, yeah. forums and, and yeah, 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 it's, it's very weird. Um, where I'm at now, because I think it's not that like, I've, I'm like technically perfect. Yeah. But I'm now at the stage where there's nothing that's that's severely daunting to me. Um, that ah, sounds so cocky, but yeah. like I mean, like no, I think I do get it. Though. There's nothing that I can't learn. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, um, I think I do yeah. get it because when you mm-hmm. start, like everything is daunting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with learning, you become with learning and doing yeah. the work, you become yeah. more confident. You realize yeah. I can learn yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. this looks like crazy dope, but yeah, yeah, it can be done. Yeah. So I think the thing I'm struggling with now is yeah. like I think in terms of technically, I know that like if there's something I want to do, I'll be able to like I just study for a bit and I'll be able to pick it up like at the most it'll take me a month to figure it out and that's like if it's something super technical and difficult (laughs) um but the thing that i struggle with is now trying to be like okay fine i need to figure out better ways of storytelling better ways of of conceptualizing things like a more subtle thing yeah yeah. and that's something that i never learned and that's something that i would say that not that's that's the thing i'm bad at <laughs> oh so you think maybe like that's mm. a thing you maybe is, is it fair to say that's a thing you might have missed out on like by not going tertiary or just yeah i think uh, yeah because technical i think almost technical skills yeah you will yeah there's 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 um there's no need for school i know that's that's a really bold thing to say but i think i stand by it i don't think there's any need for school when it comes to technical skills and that's it yeah the ideas of how do you run a photography business how do you how do you tell a story yeah the history of how other people tell stories and like being connected into that thing that is the value of uh, i've seen in in like formal education where they're um, just exposing you yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. like more oh, than just the camera yeah yeah exactly so like it's funny because like i'll speak to the is like for example the is is formally trained in in in, in fashion isn't yeah it? In, in fashion but not just in fashion like i think she she has a creative process and she oh, understands okay. creative process yeah. and how to yeah. and how to work work yeah. within it. So there's things that like she'll talk to me about, like where it's just like, yeah, no, I'm 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 I'm, I'm for this next thing I'm doing a manifesto, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah manifesto. And then as soon as she's gone, I'm like googling. You know, <laughs> what what does that mean? She, like, yeah, what, yeah, yeah, what does that what yeah, does yeah, yeah. achieve? And yeah, yeah, like yeah. So like so <laughs> so for her, she's got she has that background. Um, people who've been to school for that type of stuff, they have that background, they have that understanding, and there is always this a singular nature to the creative process. Like there's some yeah. things that you have to be able to figure out yourself. Yeah. But then there's also they also have the benefit of there's these tools and things that people over years have figured out, and now they and have. I don't have to like yeah do yeah, that yeah, from yeah, scratch yeah. again yeah, 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 yeah fair enough. And it's actually weird because if you have the technical skills first. You, you kind of find you, you're being led the wrong way. So you're trying in to make sense? you're trying to make you're trying to make a creative project that fits into your technical skill set. Oh uh, okay. yeah. yeah. And rather than, okay, fine, this is something I really need to say, something I really want to talk about, and then being the skills come yeah, to Yeah, yeah. The skills come come to, to complement to, the story yeah, yeah, yeah. to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Okay. It's almost like um I'm trying to think of a, a good way to put this. Um, oh, I wish I was smarter. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think it's just... I think the clarity yeah. is there. I think, yeah. I think I follow, though. I think I follow mm-hmm. because, like you're saying, um, um, you've got, like, you've got the skills, right? Um, yeah. I think there's a... Is it a, a metaphor they use where they say if you've got a... If you've got something. Oh, if if if, 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 if yeah, if 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 your if your only tool is a hammer, the only everything, thing you yeah, do, everything looks like a nail. Looks like a nail. Yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. Where yeah. you're forced to tell stories exactly. in a very like narrow way because exactly. that's exactly. what your skill allows. Exactly, and it's very, it's very uncomfortable to. It's so easy to to lean on technical skill because like it's like, 
like I said, there isn't much that I'm I'm afraid of being able to do yeah. or whatever. But then now when it comes to like telling to telling a telling a story that hasn't been told before yeah. and trying to like I can do it, but it is so difficult. There's a lot of like pulling of hair, yeah. there's a lot of like, <laughs> oh, okay, this is a great idea. Then you're like doing the execution. It's not coming out how you want. It's like, ah, oh, I hate it. And yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> you have to live with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Something in your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, But like, I think it would also be, because like there's sometimes when you see someone who doesn't have, they don't have the technical skill or whatever, but just that soul just shines through. Um, that story they, is always hitting. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> right it's right where it needs to be. Yeah, it's a, that's an that's a very interesting thing because mm. now um, what it makes me think of, and I'm not even like a, a photographer, is mm. that um, um, do the technical skills tend to win out because consumers tend to look at like the shiniest thing? Like, um, is that a fair thing? Ooh. Like. This I is see a... 4K. Yeah. The more clarity I yeah. see, I think it's a better photo. Yeah. As, as uh, opposed to there is a story, but it's a bit more grainy and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, yeah. I think, uh, the consumer thing. This is this is such a <laughs> this is such a difficult one because like, I also there's you remember that um like they said this thing about like steve jobs and he was yeah. like if you had to if you had to build a music player by committee and like ask people what they wanted you would never come up with the ipod yeah. like there's, there's just no way <laughs> and so there's like an idea of like where it's like and low-key what i think he was saying in the nicest way possible was consumers are stupid yeah. like people are stupid like, people don't know yeah people don't know what they want <laughs> And there's that there's a level of that and there's also a level of like money talks, right? Like so like people can say all they want about like like there's a lot of filmmakers, for example, who say like, oh, Marvel movies are trash or Marvel movies are shit. Yeah, and it's like yeah. the box office don't lie. People like it. Yeah. Like people don't pay for <laughs> things. That, people don't pay for stuff that they don't like, right? <laughs> so Yeah. I do think that like there is there isn't a there, there is like a thing um, push and pull yeah there's a thing amongst the audience right now where they like yeah they like the shiny thing they like the they like the um the 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 the, the perfection the really pre like uh the i don't want to say it looks so good. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah right. exactly it looks it looks realer <laughs> it looks than okay it looks realer than real right <laughs> and then like if you you can see someone who like maybe takes like oh it's a picture and it's and it's quite dull or it's like and it's grainy and whatnot yeah and then the the thing the thing though is that like when something is i'll use bad right yeah. <laughs> it encourages you to think right like if you have uh, a picture let's say it's like a picture um gorgeous model crazy uh crazy um uh crazy outfit costume yeah insane background, background perfect. perfect right like and then the picture everything is in focus everything yeah. is sharp right the story is all there and so then you kind of don't move like and then the thing about a grainy photo or something that's shadowy or whatever it then makes you think like oh okay fine this is shadowy this is this but this person still put it out yeah you have to why do they put it, it yeah why did they put it out <laughs> what is maybe there's symbolism behind the fact that it's yeah. grainy maybe there's this maybe there's that um that's my school of thought yeah anyway um, yeah i think i think it's true i think that that example you're actually giving right now is perfect hmm. because um there's a photographer whose work um uh does that to me uh, hmm. i think her name is uh Emily Victoria. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, everything yeah. she puts out. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe this yeah. is bias on my part now, yeah. where mm -hmm. I've already programmed myself to be like, it's going to mm -hmm. be challenging. So now yeah, I'm looking for things, yeah, even if it's just like a simple yeah. photo. But yeah, everything yeah. like Emily puts out, um, yeah. I'm always just looking for things. Where I'm like, yeah. what's the story? What's the yeah, story? Yeah. What's the story? Because sometimes yeah. there's, the subject isn't even like obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and stuff like that is is always interesting to me because yeah. it's like oh shit, I think the oh shit that's I think crazy. the thing the things I like about like I use like Emily's work is a good example. Um, 
some of Cozy's work, um, Ooh, his conceptual work, like, Cozy, yeah. I need to get him in here. Yeah. <laughs> get him in, I need to get, get him both in. of them in. Yeah. Cozy was like, I'm putting him on the spot, but he was like, I'm not ready yet. So uh, I'm giving him time this too, but I'm going to be on his ass, man. I need, yo, he tells stories. Nah, I would say, Cozy, get in here. He, he tells here. stories, man. Like, I'm going to, 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 Cozy, if you don't get in here, <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> For the culture, at least, man. Yeah. You're whack. Like, I For mean, the culture. Like, how are you doing? Like, I'm bullshit. We're putting it yeah. on the spot, but I mean, like, people yeah. need to know, man. Those are the stories. Yeah. No, I think the thing I like about that work is, like, and I think, and I've actually said this to Cozy once, because there was, like, this set of photos that he took, and, oh, the grade was so perfect. Um, yeah. It was, like, monochrome, <laughs> but then there was, like, a green um, tint to it. Um, I think that was at the exhibition, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and I, I remember, like, I told him, I'm like, I want to live in this photo. And that's what, I love, I love, like, I love that when you see that, and it's just, like, it's just something where not all the answers are there. Yeah. Um, you have to, you have to kind of be like, okay, fine, what's going on? I have to come back to Why it. is she behind <laughs> a leaf? Why is this that? Why is, like, you know, like, where it's, like, you feel like it's, um... It hasn't given you everything, and, and you still are intrigued by it. And yeah, you want yeah, more. So it's almost like um, it's almost like an album of music where yeah. um, you've listened to it for two years, and then maybe you you upgrade your 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 headphones, yeah, and then you hear diff, like yeah. instrumentation that your crappy yeah. five dollar earphones couldn't pick up, and yeah. you're like, "Jeez, man, what? It's There's crazy. more music in this music." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or even like. Um, <laughs> I always like, I can't, there's so many people who do this, but it's like where well, you're listening to an album and then they, there's this song and it's crazy. Like I, ah, oh, yeah. uh, Vince Staples had a great one yeah. at the end of his um, Summertime 06 album. Yeah. And it was literally like, I think the, I think the track was less than a minute. And I was like, oh, man, I wish there was more of this track. That it was so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tends to be with those, like, short, like, one, two-minute songs. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Childish Gambino has another one with um, on World Star. I wish that song was longer. Like, yeah. Man. Yo, Childish yeah. is a genius. Let's not even get started on that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's literally one of my creative heroes. Oh, he's so good, man. Yeah. I, I just finished... Um, the fourth season, the the, fu the final season. Oh, of right. Uh, and I mean, yeah, let's talk about it because there is something there worth mm -hmm. talking about. Is especially with um, with Atlanta. I think it reflected yeah. in all his work, mm. but um, he makes whatever he wants to make mm. because um, what Atlanta looks like, it looks like opening the brain of someone. Mm. But something that would never get like green lit by a producer. Yeah. But he has the money and the connections to add yeah. to actually like bring it all together yeah. and make something like that. Yeah. Where yeah. you're just like, what? I think he's worked though. Like he's like yep. he's 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 earned <laughs> that credit. Like when I say like Childish Gambino is one of my creative heroes, I like So a lot of people don't know about if you ever get the chance, look up um Derek Comedy. Have you heard of it? No, no, no. I'll look, I'll look that up. Derek Comedy was like one of the first YouTube channels. Yeah. Um, one of the first, like, sorry, comedy YouTube, like, sketch channels. Yeah. And that was where, it was when, it was when Donald was in school. It was like his, like, comedy group that he, that he started out with. Yeah. And so then I started watching those when I was in uni. And those Ooh. were like, I used to lo love that. And then after that, I found out like, I was like, oh, he was the only black kid. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of, like, looking for looking for people like me in spaces yeah. that I like. Yeah. Um, and so then I saw he was a rapper as well. And he had these 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 albums and these, sorry, these mixtapes. Yeah. And I was addicted. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, this dude is so lit. And I would tell so many of my friends... And my friends were like, this and dude no, is weird. No, no, get it. Yeah. Exactly. Weird. weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then Community comes out. After Community <laughs> comes out, he writes on, on, on 30 Rock. And he, like, so all this, all this stuff started bubbling. And then now people were like, oh, wait, this is the bread you were talking about. I'm like, yes, this is what. You finally get it? <laughs> yeah, you get it. And, like, he's, he's worked at it. And, like, you can kind of, like, see there's an honest, there's an honest exploration 
in yep. in, in, yeah. in childish, yeah. which is what yeah. attracts me to 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 most artists. Really, what I try like and and, and multidisciplinary and like. Mm -hmm. for days he mm -hmm. tries it, his hand mm -hmm. at, at, at mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah. unfortunately for him it it it, it tends it, it tends to land as well like really well because mm -hmm. i i came at it from a i knew childish gambino before i knew donald glover so uh, i knew the music first i think um yeah. because the internet was my first exposure uh, which is like classic. way later right yeah, like yeah. that's way later but mm. i was extremely young as well mm. i don't even yeah. know how that happened to be fair because yeah, yeah, yeah. no one was listening to yeah. me and i was trying to put people out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like. well he has, he has such he has this great line which also i feel applies to it's 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 stuck with me like yeah. a lot in terms of like i i'm i'm a black person but then I have a wide range of interests. And then there's like this whole thing about like, hey, you know, the, the one that everyone knows is like, that's white music, right? Mm. Like that, that type of thing, yeah. or like that's white people shit. Yeah. And then yeah. he had this line in one of the songs <laughs> and he's like, white kids get to wear whatever hat they want. When it comes to black kids, one size fits all. Yeah. And I was like, yo, that's yeah, we so don't true. Get, we don't get like, yeah, uh, like, there are no safe spaces. I mean, it's, it's, it's starting to happen mm. now. Yeah. Um, in the context of Zim, at least, right? Yeah. Like, to be weird and black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it a lot in in, mm. fa in fashion and art, right? Um, yeah. But for a long time, that wasn't a thing, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. But like you could yeah. explore, but not really safely. Like you'd have to like mm. get like you'd have to hit get hit by like sticks and stones. Like, yeah. Just really had to be like a person who didn't like really give a shit at all, which is not like the case for most people, right? You should yeah. just be able to. Yeah, yeah. Actualize yeah. without having to explain yourself. <laughs> it's hard here, man. It's hard here. Um, but I but I think some of your work, uh the work yeah. being done by guys like Anna Uleni, uh yeah. Anna Danai, all these guys we're speaking about, like yeah. the, a lot of the people who we bring on the channel, right, is mm -hmm. that's how it happens. Mm -hmm. That's really, really how it happens. Where it's just like, hey man, look at this person. They're just them, and they're yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like ma yeah. mainstream media doesn't really do that, or at least yeah. it expires very quickly. Like if you get mm -hmm. featured like in a newspaper, like yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's so tricky. They don't really, they don't redistribute, right? Like yeah, it's 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 kind of the gift and curse of um, of the internet. Is that like at least now. The, the word black kids, anyone, like, we can, yeah, anyone really, can we can, community, right? we can, yeah, <laughs> and we can make noise uh, for ourselves. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. If we're yeah. doing something that we feel needs to be made noise about. Yeah. Um, and then other people just want community, and that's, they, they're able to get that. Um, Which is great as well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Still fantastic. But yeah. anyway, mm. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I've got ADHD. I, I take things. <laughs> no, but, those yeah. are the conversations, man. Yeah. Those are really like the interesting conversations as well. Yeah. Because this mm. is supposed to be about photography, but we're talking about so many things broadly. Yeah. Because photography is about so many things broadly, yeah. right? It's about people. Like, yeah. I think that's what I got into it. Yeah. Like I wanted I really wanted to I really wanted to explore. I wanted to to, to, to learn new things, especially yeah. because um, I felt like I hadn't before. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, man. And I was uh, I was saying this to to African selfie stick uh, last week, and I was saying the more I do these, mm -hmm. the more they feel like therapy. <laughs> Dude, it's I was literally gonna say like when when I was coming here, I was like thinking about like I feel like I feel like this is gonna be like a therapy session. It's like a cross between Vlad TV and like oh the therapist word, couch. Man. It's, <laughs> And it goes both ways. Yeah. Even for me, mm -hmm. it's so much exposure to shit that I would otherwise... Um, mm. Because people are so busy. Yeah. How else would we have just this conversation for like an hour, 32 Ooh, hours? That's so Unless true. we've like hung out for like maybe two weeks or we've hung that's out for a true. long time and now we're like that's safe true. around each other and all that's of that, true. right? That's true. So it's... Yeah. It worked for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, you talked about, you know... Um, Technical skills, yeah. Storytelling, yeah. Um, and this might not be like the fairest of questions because, like you mm. said, broad interests, right? But yeah. um, when you pick up a camera these days, um, mm. what what story are you trying to tell? Is it like one story that's like 
that you're obsessing over or it's it's a, it's a bunch of things that like interest you and this is so tough <laughs> you, you you've caught me in a transition period yeah where like it's always been my it's always been my 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 kind of mission and like the, the thing that i it, my guiding light is to be like you need to be able to say something yeah. um uh, this one dude once told me that he didn't have a show and I thought he was the most amazing artist yeah and he was like I was like why haven't you had a gallery showing and he's like I don't have anything to say yet and I was it stuck with me and it was yeah. but then I think that there's also there's a validity to that but then also I think that as as a black artist yeah I think that there's this unfair pressure that everything I do must say something very very profound. important and profound <laughs> about the state of 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 of, of being black and yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm kind of like surely the dream is 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 also that I should be able to just make pretty shit in the way that like artists who aren't of color are able to just to make pretty the shit songs, right like, yeah so like I think I've been trying to and especially because that's how I started and I think I went too far into like. And I would beat myself up of like trying to make no, a meaning. story out of something and trying <laughs> to figure this and like and I was like I'm not I'm I'm even producing less because of that and yeah. ooh yeah because yeah. now you're caught up because you're like yeah this mm -hmm. looks brilliant but it doesn't yeah mean it, it doesn't say anything like, uh, dude people, I or, I, yeah. I can't even tell you how many how many unreleased things are on my on my on my hard drive like that and yeah so I'm like. I'm now trying to be like in a state where I'm, I'm one. I'm giving myself a break from a lot of stuff, and I'm also just trying to be like, just pretty shit. Like yeah, just yeah. shoot. Like just literally just like almost like um, you know those like uh, lo-fi lo-fi vids, yeah. and it's like anime and like <laughs> and it's those. It's like those type of scene. I love those type of scenes where it's yep. like it's a snapshot of life. It's something that you don't really pay attention to in, in, in the grand scheme of things. It's yeah. stuff you ignore, but it's really pretty. But when you like take a closer look, you're like, this yeah, is like profoundly yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't yeah. like have to mean anything, but yeah. it's just like really beautiful. Well I think it's I think it's I th I think it means something in just that it, just in that the life is life is full of these little pleasures right like yeah. and we spend yeah. so much time yep. looking for the big things <laughs> looking for the for the for the the really profound things the things that make huge statements and and, and change cultures and whatnot yeah. but like it's also really crazy that we're on this this one of a kind rock uh that's like hurtling through space yeah. there's eight billion of us and we're all so different. There's so many different things, and they're like so the many stuff that, things to navigate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we and there's there's so much there's so much beauty that we that there's so much stuff that we willfully pass, right? And and that makes yeah. sense. Like yeah. I can't listen to every bad news story. I can't <laughs> listen to I can't like listen to every conversation in the street. I can't do that. But then in in us like sort of filtering out stuff. We're also filtering out a lot of beauty. You um, then go like a bit overboard. Yeah, and you're yeah. just like, yeah, nothing's left, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I hear that. That's yeah. that's oh, true. I think yeah. I think we're all guilty of that to a degree, mm -hmm. especially just grind culture nowadays, man. Right? Yeah, everything is almost it's almost like everything is a conversation about sheets, and I do understand that, right? Because yeah, sheets are important. <laughs> That's actually, but, yeah. That's actually a big. It's, it's actually a big reason for why I slowed down, yeah. and I had, and I, and I'm having to reframe like my relationship with photography was because of that. Maybe explain that. So is it um, like I'm taking on gigs because it, yeah, it, it was the like lights on. It makes I mean, sense financially. Yeah. So like when we first started Crafted Media, yeah. like it was literally the goal was the the big dream was we wanted to have like a production house. Yeah. We wanted to like be telling narrative stories and doing like just yeah. We we just we really liked storytelling and we yeah. would obsess over it. Um, and then it started getting to the point where we we got a few big clients and it was like oh great. And then it got to the point where it was like, oh, now we need to get equipment so that we can do this. We need to be able to do this. Yeah. Um, the clients that we need need 
us to perform at this level. And so then it got to the point where it's like, all right, we're going to make money so that we can do the creative stuff. <laughs> and then that slowly turned into we're just doing the stuff money. about <laughs> making money. And so like, and when you're doing the stuff to make money, even like when I then realized we were doing that, I tried to like course correct and I tried to be like, oh no, I need to, to do more creative stuff. But the problem is you put you put so much of yourself into this corporate space yeah. um, and figuring out how to like, you, you're making all these decisions. Like it's like, instead of like taking a picture and it's, oh, it's pretty. It's like, oh no, we need to make sure that there's space for, for, uh, for copy. We need to make sure that it's sending this message. Ooh. We need to make sure like in casting, it's like this person, does that smile really reflect the values of X company and like all that type. So after you've, and now, like subconsciously, that's all, that's in your style because. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think I don't think it's necessarily like at least for me. I, yeah. I, I was able to separate it, but then the problem was. Yeah. It takes a lot of energy to do that. Ooh, so. So now when I'm going to like when I'm like all right now I've done this, and it's it's like oh I have a week off great. That'll be the week that I, I, I do I, creative stuff. I do like and I'm the, white. The, the transcendent. Yeah, thing. I'm just completely. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like white, white. And, and that week that I'm supposed to be you trading just put the camera down. ends up being a, re- a, a week of recovery. Yeah. And then the mental stuff that goes through that is now like, oh, now I, I didn't even create anything. And I'm like. Yeah, and yeah. now you're kicking yourself as well. You're yeah. like, oh man, look at me. Yeah. You're yeah. photographer. Yeah. <laughs> like it was. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Ooh, I hear that. That's actually quite interesting. That's mm. actually quite interesting. Yeah. And I think a fantastic segue into two things um, mm. that we're going to touch on. Uh, photo documentaries. Mm. Uh, but first, approaching it as a business. Um, yeah. So we've basically like talked mm. about maybe yeah. the cons and, and stuff like that. But yeah. um, like you said, self-taught started off as essentially like a hobbyist. Mm-hmm. Um what are the biggest lessons that you've learned, right? Like regarding running a, a business that you feel like maybe a young Azash should go in knowing uh, day one. And mm. I like that question, but I don't like that question because mm. um, it feels like a box. Is that like a fair thing to say? Mm, I get what you're saying. Um... But I also definitely feel like there's some things that in your career where it's like you've been burnt where you're like, oh, yeah. man. I think I think um, I think the number one thing yeah. is um, it. Oh shoot! Can I lean forward like this? Is that fine? Yeah, that's okay, fine. Yeah, um, I think the number one thing is what you want isn't what your customer needs. And yeah, maybe explain that a bit. More. So there's there's a level that myself and my partner held ourselves to there was a standard we held ourselves to yeah that we were like okay this is how we're going to this is how we're going to produce our work and this is how we're going to get things done and it required uh a huge investment in terms of 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 knowledge one (laughs) um and and learning acquiring that knowledge two in terms of um in terms of uh of cash and money and like what like you the, need to the like, initial capital. The, the, yeah, the, the the equipment that you need to get to, to do this type of thing. And so yeah. it was it's helpful sometimes because you're ahead of the curve and you meet you you meet something at the bleeding edge where it's like, yo, yeah. we were interested in VR and now these guys want us to do something in that yeah. area. <laughs> um, but a, that was a lot of the time you're just I don't want to use the term stroking your own ego, but it's like... Overkill? Do- <sighs> yeah, it's overkill, but it's more than that. It's more like you're, you're thinking that every customer is going to have your sensibilities. Oh. Yeah. So you're like, if I were to hire someone to do this for yeah. me, I would need I would this, I would this, need this, this, I would need this, I would need this. But and the only it, reason you think like that is because you you work in that space. Exactly. You live that every exactly. day. So you're exposed to yeah. the camera standards, the yeah. lighting standards. So <laughs> when you're when you're when you're when you're starting a business, it's it's really a bad way to go about it. It's a great yeah. way to make sure that like, oh, you you have yourself at a certain standard and you operate at a at a certain yeah, level. At a certain level. But it needs to be yeah, but it right? needs to be tempered with what the what the client wants. And I think that like 
what we did in the beginning was we'd be like, the client would ask us, what's the best thing to do? And then we would say what we thought the best thing to do was. Yeah. And I think what we should have said, we should have asked more questions and we got to that later on. Yeah. But it, what we should have done was like, be like, okay, fine. What is it that you want? What do you, what you need? What do you, what, what with, do you need? This. And sometimes it's like, because sometimes they don't know. There is that level of they don't know what they want, like what we were saying before. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but then you now need to know how to draw out the the core needs yeah so they're like we need really nice um advertising for our, for our for our, for our business and then it's like okay fine so what do you want they're like you need you to take really nice pictures uh, yeah. tell like tell us what you want and it's like no, no okay i would then if i wanted to do it i would take really nice pictures of like this and that and whatnot but then if your goal is to attract customers and whatnot there may be a level where if I do this super polished, really nice photo, yeah. it's going to intimidate your clients. Ooh. So I now, you now need to kind yeah. of like figure out and temper. So it's like saying like, okay, what's your goal? Are you trying to lure company customers in, or are you trying to project this type of image? Are you trying to like, what are the goals? What are the goals? Yeah. So I yeah. think that was yeah. that. What I said, yeah. What you want and what your customer needs aren't yeah. the same thing. Yeah, that happens with. Um creatives a lot man um, yeah <laughs> is let's create at the bleeding edge at the bleeding yeah. edge but sometimes it's it's again that thing yeah. we're talking about the hammer mm. and the nail and it's like yeah, not yeah. all the time yeah it's, it's more nuanced yeah. oh that's interesting man yeah that's yeah that's really interesting yeah. and then photo documentaries um mm. on this one only exposure i have in regards to to your work is um the stuff um, Takunda was telling me, where you're saying mm. you guys worked on a photo documentary called mm. Wema Card. Oh right, yeah, it? Wema Card. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was, and and more broadly though, um, yeah, yeah. how does something like that come about? Like from ideation to to the final output, and like, is that a space that you've you've worked in more? Like beyond that, I. You see that idea. That idea was part of a grander idea. Um, I, I won't go into to, into in, in, into that now. But like the yeah the at the time when I was when when we when we shot that yeah it was like right at the beginning of COVID, um, and also it was kind of like. I'd been burning out for quite a while, yeah. but I think that was like now like really right at the peak. And so like it was, I didn't, we're, we're, we're actually going, we're actually going to release it now. Um, like, and we've been yeah. looking back at it, but like, I remember now I'm like excited about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so great. This is, this is, this, this yeah. looks awesome. But at the time I fucking hated <laughs> everything about it. Like I was just like, we did everything right. And like, the stuff that we got was great, but I was like, I was doing that thing where it's like I was also holding myself to this uh, ridiculous Crazy standard, standard, like, and I was like, <laughs> now when I look back, I'm like, oh, it was, it was, it was perfect. It was actually really <laughs> it, it, it good. tells the story you yeah. needed to tell. Yeah, but like I think the way it started was, so, I, I wanted to tell a story. We, me and um and 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 and, and Takunda, we we'd spoken back and forth. Um, I can't even remember whose idea it was, if it was yeah. his or if it was mine. But like that was, we've spoken back and forth, and we both kind of wanted to do something yeah. of that nature. Um, and then we were like, okay, yeah, what what do we have? Like, um, so looked at like this is the equipment we have. I have the studio. We can um, we can set this up. We can make this type of a scene. Yeah. Um, and then it was also trying to figure out what did we want to say and what did we want people. What did we want people to glean from it? And I yeah. think we, I don't remember what we decided on, but I think when I look at it now, I think the, the, the big thing, the thing that shines through for me is like, I wanted people to know how much, how much these people put into their craft. Yeah. Um, so like, even with the questions, it was like asking, we'd ask things like, we, we tried to ask very open-ended questions that would allow, and that was also part of the process where we were like yeah. saying, the type of questions we want, we don't want them to be the type of thing where 
someone would just have one answer and that goes in the, and that's it. On to the next. Yeah, we wanted to have something that expect like so we said like the first photo you were proud of, the the um the first photo you got paid for, that way we'd hear the story behind it. Like the first um what what are uh some photos from other photographers that are really impactful for you, yeah. like that type of thing. Yeah. Um and so just kind of like seeing that I wanted people to see that like because especially like even the, in the name Vema Card, right? Yeah. Like it's like that's the derogatory like kind of thing is like I'm not my snip like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like trying to like say like okay, fine, deceptively, yeah, these are the guys when we talk about But then to like see that there's this whole. I wanted people to see depth. Yeah, the human, right? Like the, yeah, those layers, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, you see a guy who's taking photos and maybe you're agitated if it's maybe like a photojournalist, for instance. Yeah, yeah. Those are the, those are the guns who, who yeah, the guys yeah. get the worst of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. there's still humanity, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's. Yeah, and I think I uh, maybe there was a bit of personal. Now that I think about it, there was a yeah. personal thing about it where I just kind of felt. I, I feel that the craft isn't respected here in Zim. Um, yeah. And I know how much I put into it. And then I was like, I'm sure others put a lot into it too. Exactly. Maybe if we <laughs> asked them. And we were absolutely right. Like everyone, everyone there like had depth to them, had layers to them. And I think that was, I think, yeah, I think that was the, the process, and then obviously there was a very rigid um, production process, which over our years in in um, in the corporate space, that we we've like honed that down. Like, so um, you could, that was that yeah, was like the easy part. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I think no, that's I'm it. really excited to see that because, like yeah. you're saying, the, the last point you said there is actually something I um, is the bigger picture I wasn't seeing, and that if mm. uh, because you. Um, we had Flickr on, who is an uh, upcoming photographer as well. He's, he's mm. still young. Um, yeah. He's 22, 23. Yeah. Um, and, and he mentioned that, you know, the lack of respect um, mm. for photographers, right? And yeah. The only way to remedy that is yeah. through storytelling, showing yeah. the, story of, the stories yeah. of the people involved, right? Yeah. And especially, especially for, for the Zim creative. Yeah. Um, because I think there's there's something that there's something that happened. They they do amongst ourselves. We will bitch and moan till Sunday. Yeah. Like like we'll 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 tell each other, oh, it's garbage, it's whatnot, it's this, it's this, it's that. But to our detriment, sometimes we're also so excited about the craft, and we're excited to have the opportunity yeah, to yeah. practice it in a space that <laughs> by all means we shouldn't be able to practice it here. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we put up with a lot of shit where, is it um, like? where, where it isn't. So like, I think this is a, this is like kind of a backdoor way where it's like, they aren't complaining directly and saying that like, you know what, you guys don't pay us anywhere near enough yeah. or you also don't pay us on time or maybe don't even pay us. All. Like all right. the, all the, like I can go for hours about like all the different ways that it's bad, but the this it's just kind of like giving because a big problem is the public isn't educated yeah they exactly. think it's like oh it's you get a maybe the camera's a bit expensive but then after that that's that's it and it's like no no, no. there's so there's much time <laughs> that goes into it's, time effort and yeah stuff like marketing man no one ever thinks about that like yeah. how do i then get to be the one who's picked because mm. there's so many of us in the field and all of that yeah. is, is money. If not money, it's time. It's yeah. All of yeah. these tiny things, man. To my little uh, things. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then, yo, we've been at it, isn't it? Like, yeah. We're getting closer to, to the end, though. Um, oh, okay. One, I don't like that of, side. That's scary. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a I'm thinking side. Ah, I'm okay, thinking okay. of how best to, to phrase this. Ah, I'm gonna attack it. <laughs> no, it's not, I got you. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, we're about to get to oh, the head. It's, 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 it's gonna get deep. It's gonna get <laughs> deep. <laughs> we're the body, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. this is mostly a I wouldn't call it a light. It's mostly just mm. a conversation. Mm. Um, whether it's light or not depends on how you see things, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, 
we talked about the 2011, 2010 thing a lot, right? Yeah. Um, but um, one of the things, and, and I mention this a lot, and I think the people who watch like all the episodes are tired of this. <laughs> yeah. But the reason I love mentioning it is, um, like one, there's no running away from the work, right? Uh, mm -hmm. These things take like five, 10, 15 years. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's just what it is, right? Like yeah. people see Zash today and yeah. they see Zash being praised. Yeah. They see Zash having like a studio, having the mm. craziest equipment, and yeah. they're like, I want to be like Zash. But yeah. it's like, mm, are you sure? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like such a huge journey mm -hmm. to it, right? Yeah. Uh, so I always obsess over like stories that, um, mm. that have taken longer. Mm -hmm. Because to me, that speaks of just commitment. It just speaks of also mm. a lot more lessons, right? Because yeah. the thing we're trying to do is just mm. teach people as well, right? Like yeah. tell stories that have happened over like a, a, a span of time. Mm. That's much longer, right? Yeah. So you've been here for a decade. Um, yeah. Zim, for Zim is like what, 10, nine years? Eight? Yeah, I've been, it's literally, it's, it was 10 years in, in July. I came yeah. back in July, 2012. Um, I think, it's fair to say that mm -hmm. you've seen uh, a shift, right? Like, mm -hmm. what are you seeing in, in Zim, maybe in photography specifically and then creatively more broadly, right, mm -hmm. that you weren't seeing when you came back in 2012? Mm -hmm. um, I think photography is an option now. I don't think it was, like, I think... I think people thought I was really weird. Like I still, I still have like, <laughs> I have an aunt of mine who like every time I see her, it's like, oh, still photos. Like, <laughs> she can't rap her like, like, it's, like, it's like, you're still doing it? Like, <laughs> really? Like how do, how do yeah. you get money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And <laughs> so like, survive? yeah, I think it's, I think it's, it's, it's more of an option, but there's also greater competition now. Um, so I think, um, Ooh, yeah. I'm actually, I would actually go ahead and say, I don't know if, if like the skill level that I was at when I first started, yeah. um, when I first started in Zim, yeah. um, at least, and then I bring that to this, to this current day. No, I think I would have made it. But I think it would have been. I think it. I think there would definitely have been a lot of the the, the, the competition. Yeah, the competi <laughs> The competition would have been stiffer, and I don't think I would have had the same. I would have come to the same conclusions that I have about doing yeah. business in in yeah. in Zim. Yeah. Um, but yeah, photography is more of an option. Um, people are doing. People are doing. Um, they're doing stuff. I don't want to know. I don't. I don't know if I can say that the the variation is is great yeah um yeah because i think there, there are definitely yeah i don't want to call people out but like there's like <laughs> there's 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 photographers who like you see them and you're like oh yeah this is great this is unique they have their own style yeah um regardless of whether it's super experimental or like middle of the road like yeah. you can see those guys right yeah and then there's other photographers who it's like I mean, technically proficient and on and all that type of stuff. But then, if you were to put them in a lineup of a bunch of other photographers, I wouldn't be able you to can, say, "Oh, agree. that's this person's photo." Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can look at other photos that I can be like, "Oh yeah, that's cozy. You took that." Yeah, the thing that's, we're talking about, like, about about cozy. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and Emily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you I can, can see it, and you can yeah, yeah, yeah. I and think. I can, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, and then there are other people who it's like you can tell because of, of like, of, of style or like, of because of, um, of the, 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 the story or, or, or whatever, which yeah. is, I think, I, and I, and I say this, it's, it's very weird. I know I spoke very highly of my own technical, technical prowess, yeah. <clears throat> but I actually don't think that technicality even comes into the top three things of what's most important about being a photographer. Yeah. Um, so like if I see a photographer who's like very technically proficient, I think yeah. that there's definitely a space for them in the commercial market. A hundred percent people want yeah. that, but then they now have a very difficult time um, differentiating themselves. And so, yeah, and, and they, they, it, it, it'll be kind of like, okay, fine. I got you what, what, 
what why should I why should I pick you in this yeah. space and like that that type of thing. But yeah. is it also fair to to then say um, the reason why it's hard to then uh, differentiate is because um, on the technical side, someone can always learn. Yeah, and, and like catch up. Oh, hundred percent, a hundred percent. When it comes to like the storytelling and and yeah. the, the style, like you said, yeah, like it's no, a hundred percent. Anyone can copy. Like when you're when you're when you're taking photos, one of the big things that people, one of the things that most photographers do, yeah. and it's it's whether you learn by yourself or you were taught technically, yeah, is you imitate. Like that's 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 the that's the gig. <laughs> that's that that's how you learn. So like anything anything can be copied, but then like there's now that rare alchemy of like okay fine but what what can i with my spin yeah what can I, where can i put my spin on it um and i've actually been put in a lot of situations where i had to do where yeah because i remember like <laughs> i remember <laughs> shooting um i shot a lot of concerts um music music photography is one of my yeah. favorites and so in shooting all, all these concerts there's like a little press area where all there's like the press pit where all the guys with the photographers shoot yeah. And so it became very clear to me, like, from the beginning that, like, we're all getting the same fucking photos. Yeah, because if you're all, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I would, like, I would literally, like, look around. I would climb on top of speakers until, like, security guards shouted at me. <laughs> Sometimes I would climb up the, like, the, the, the stage railing and, like, try and, like, just to get different shots. And I would find it was so funny because I would, like, literally we're all in the press pit, right? And we're all doing the thing. And then... I was looking around, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go go on top of the speaker. I go on top of the speaker, take my shots. And then when I got down, there was somebody waiting to get up. And then now everyone was <laughs> everyone was, was going for it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I guess I guess that kind of that kind of says it like you need to kind of figure out like what is what is going to be your alchemy? What is going to make your photos stand out? What is going to yeah. make your photos be um uh, be taken notice of. Yeah, um, especially now, like you're saying, where it's like more competition, right? Like, yeah, yeah. At a really yeah, yeah. good level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, at an excellent level. <laughs> that, that's the other thing about like, I would put, I would put as, I would never be shy to put a Zim, uh, a Zim creative of almost any nature in a room with a uh, world class um, talent. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I, they, we can all hang. All of yeah. us can hang because all of us have this this weird obsession with like getting better <laughs> with, <laughs> like yeah 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 and i think i think also i think um there's always a a chip on your shoulder i remember when i was uh, yeah. before i started this uh, i was talking to my aunt man and, mm. <laughs> and i was telling her i'm gonna do this i've got like mm. this i've got all the names lined up yeah She's like, yeah, but is it gonna be like? Is it gonna look like world class? So mm -hmm. I wasn't even thinking of that. But once that seed is there, right? Yeah, 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 now yeah, you yeah, have yeah. that conscious thought where you're like, oh man, we have to, we have yeah. to. And I think that's that speaks towards. I know this isn't the question you asked, but like, yeah. it's, it 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 goes towards um, the idea of longevity. Like, how long are you going to be in the space? Because if you spend time. If you do the thing that's like uh, on trend or, or whatever, then that's, you're going to have to now figure out the, the next, next trend thing. and the next trend and the next trend. And that's going to be mentally consuming <laughs> on you. Whereby yeah. if you spend time developing your particular style, you get good at that and you whatever. Um, although it's, it's dangerous because it's it dangerous. is hit and miss. It's because, dangerous because you then also have to go and find your people. Because find, with trends, yeah. Everyone latches 100%. on quickly. A hundred percent. But if it's style, you have to go and look for the people yeah. who resonate. Yeah. Who are like, yeah. ooh, a two-hour-long interview. Yeah, yeah. But with someone you, I've never heard of. Yeah. But if you do, if you then do that, um, that thing, you it's then now work. become, <laughs> you now become the purveyor of that style. Yeah. And now people know if we want to get this and get it done well, we have to go to this it's guy. This. Yeah. And that's when you yeah. find that people yeah. are like yeah. saying, when it goes from saying, I want this type of photographer and to someone saying, or this type of director, and then someone saying like, I want that Robert Rodriguez look. Yeah. Like, and you, you <laughs> can't get Robert Rodriguez unless you, you have Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. You have to hit his lineup. Yeah. You have to call yeah. Zash because yeah. he's the only one who can make that yeah. photo. Yeah. 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 No, man. I, 
Thank you so much, man. Free yeah. game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the last thing we'll talk about yeah. before we close off. Um, and this is the thing that I, I always honestly love to talk about because uh, Zim can be a, a crushing place if you're not careful. <laughs> mm, yeah. It can be a, a, a pretty tricky place. So mm. for you personally, man, uh, what are your... Um, it's twofold. Um, what are your... I think you answered some of it, mm -hmm. to be fair. <laughs> yeah. But what are your like your biggest frustrations working here, and then your biggest joys uh, working here? Um, I know it's toxic. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to I, I want to end on a good note, so yeah. I'll, I'll talk about my frustrations first. Yeah. Um, I think. I think the biggest frustration is that sometimes if you have a very specific goal or a very specific thing that you want to do, yeah. this place may make you compromise a lot, depending on what that thing is. Um, yeah. So I got, to sh I got to shoot a lot of things that I really, that I really liked and that I really wanted to, to shoot. Yeah. But then there's also... A lot that I've had to leave on the table because it just it doesn't work for the space. It doesn't. So by that you mean like you've conceptualized something, mm -hmm. but actualizing it is like so crazy. It's like actual, actual, actualizing <laughs> whether it's because of financial constraint, yeah, social constraint, yeah, oh, yeah um, a lot of that. like all, all that sort of stuff. Like, and it's like, and when I say social constraint, I'm not even talking about like, oh, I don't like or shooting nudes or something like that. But yeah. like literally like sometimes some of the things that you want to say aren't, it just, it isn't in the zeitgeist. And if you are trying to be, if you are trying to be a, um, a business person here, yeah. there are still a lot of old school rules that happen here yeah. where people want to, yeah. people want to do business with someone that they can stand next to in church. Like yeah, and that yeah. they and that they and and if you don't hold those beliefs, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it can it, 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 it can get weird. It can get it can it can get awkward. And so like, um, uh, yeah, there, there's there, there's that frustration. There's the frustration yeah. of um. I think the biggest frustration for me is that photography isn't paid what it's worth. Yeah, I think there's so many people I know, stupid. Stupid talented um, yeah. uh, photographers who have had to compromise. Um, I know some guys who've gone into office jobs. Yeah. I know some guys who. Um, I, I know there's this one dude who he's legit the best nature photographer that I have ever seen. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shout him out because I don't know if he like he's he's also a private dude. Yeah. But yeah. you know you know I'm talking about you. <laughs> um, but he's literally the best nature photographer I've ever seen. I remember there's times when I I, we, I did a hike in Chimani Mani and it was like in the back of my mind like what would he do in this situation? Yeah. yeah. But the market doesn't allow for someone like that, and there there isn't any system, and it's like almost everything you're doing. Everything, everything that I've done here in Zim, I've had yeah. to build the space for it. Yeah, yeah, like uh, you have to build the market. Yeah, and, and some people don't want to do that, and it should. And not every, like yeah, that, not like, everyone, not everyone needs energy. to be a builder. <laughs> Zim, Zim will make you. Zim will make you. And I was talking to someone about this, who I was just like, "It's this is a tough thing about." It. He's like, "No, Zim's amazing. Do you know how much money you can make in Zim? Do you know how much money I'm making in Zim?" I'm like, "You're a lion." Not everyone can not be a lion. Has not be. everyone can like. We actually and, talked about this at at, at, at the exhibition. We were mm, like, there yeah. just needs to be different lanes because I see this with yeah. creators a lot, where it's like uh, people are like, um, the creatives also have to tell their own story, and it's like, bro, yeah, bro, uh, no, it's the, not. The creatives have to make the creative work. Yeah, us as media. Yeah. Tell these stories like yeah. you can't do everything. Yeah, it's not sustainable. I think what it is is I think this place doesn't sustain. This place isn't a. It's it's not um. It's not a nurturing place, for um for creativity to 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 live for a sustained, a prolonged period of yeah. time. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's the cream that rises yeah. to the top. You've got your tukus. You've got your um, you've got your Danaiguriras. Like you've got people who who rise to the top, but those examples are far too few. Yep. <laughs> um, and you can't use those. It's like 
It's like people in America who were like saying like, oh, the racism's ended because Obama's president. It's like you got one, fam. Mm -hmm. Like that. It. Yeah, or, or people who use like uh, a billionaire for like as an example of what you can do. And it's yeah, like, yeah. It's no, great no, no, no. that they've done that, but yeah. like realistically. Yeah, and so I've seen I've seen people who and I, and I think the other thing was like. And it's why I've, I've like even like I've felt like I need I need a break. Like Zim is always where I'm going to be, right? Yeah. Um, it, it, sorry, it's always where I'm going to like to end up, right? Yeah. But I've seen myself. I've seen parts of my character become things that I don't, not necessarily that I don't like, but that I it, it's uncomfortable for me to be. I've seen like yeah. a lot of creatives who've had sustained success. They've had to become prickly. They've had to become, yeah, yeah, and it's not that they've become yeah. bad people or anything like that. But they right. like <laughs> there's there's a certain level. You got to develop some thorns to protect yeah. your rose. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I'm like, I think, I think that's a big frustration. That's that's the the biggest frustration. Like after working all these years in Zim, it's cool. Like I've 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 gotten to do some some awesome stuff. Yeah. But also the combination of it has has really it's it's <laughs> run it's me great. ragged. Yeah, it's run me ragged. It yeah. really has run me ragged. I hear that, man. Yeah. I hear that. And and the joy. I got to shoot shit that nobody else could shoot. I've had I have yeah. had such incredible stories. I've I got chased by an elephant with my business partner. <laughs> Um, like, <laughs> I actually got it on camera, actually, even. Um, that got, sounds crazy. Yeah, there you go. Like, but, like, it's, like, there's so many, because it's a, it's, it's, it's a fledgling industry, it also means it's the Wild West. It's wide open. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much, there's so much. That hasn't been done. Yeah, so much which hasn't been done. So many, so many untold stories um, <laughs> Go. yeah but there's so much there's so much there's so much that I was able to do here that if even if I'd stayed in the states or if I'd even or even like in any other like uh, let's say first world country first right world country yeah I wouldn't have had the opportunities and I wouldn't have been able to tell the stories that I that I told here I think arguably my most successful project was the yeah. one that I did with my wife where um, she has her her blog diary of Smurf Dinky. Yeah, and shout we, out to Smurf. Yeah, we we made the decision from the beginning that we were going to shoot in the city, and that was like, and for me, it's like because like I'm I'm a city kid. I've always loved cities. Um, yeah. Doesn't matter where, and we were able to create this something that hadn't been something that hadn't been done here before. Yeah. Um, I mean, when I say that, I, I need to be very careful. I'm not saying that people didn't have fashion blogs. Like, of course, that the, the, that was there. But I meant, like, doing it with the storytelling that we attempted. Yeah, it that's with, what I was going to say as well. Like, the, um, the swag, man. Just yeah. the swag. We tried, man. Like, and we... and. And what I love about it was that... And I think what also made it great was that it was this... So, I think a lot of people mistake... Um, that project sometimes and they're like oh it was like this vanity project for 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 my wife or yeah. or like or it was a way for me to 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 vehicle my uh my my work and yes that that part was true like it was a way for me to vehicle my work but we worked together with so many zimbabwean designers yep <laughs> and there was just so so many designers that we were like, yo, they, and it, it was just this beautiful collaborative energy, um, which was like, you know, it's like, oh, I'll, I'll give you my clothes. You can wear them for this thing. Um, we then figured out different scenes, different people to collaborate with people, yeah. different people. To, and so, in fact, that's a great way to like kind of sum it up. What I love about this place and what I love is that the creative energy, despite everything that's happening, that would say that it should not exist in this place. Yeah, it's it won't fucking die, man. It, it, and it's and <laughs> and Zim creatives, man, Zim creatives are magic. Bro, that's the only way I can put it. They're they're they are magic, magic, magic. Yeah, next level. Yeah, really next level. Yeah.